Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, I want to talk about ketosis, acne, and other skin issues. Hands down, ketosis is the absolute best thing you can do for your acne and other skin issues like eczema, psoriasis, and dermatitis, okay? Let's talk about why. Well, first of all, usually acne is in a high androgen situation. That's a male hormone. Women have it, not as much but men have more, but androgens increase the oil in the skin and also they can create acne if it's too high, all right? But the question is, why is your androgens too high, especially as a teenager? Well, it's simply because teenagers consume more junk food, especially sugar, because insulin is really the trigger that makes too much androgen. That's why like in this condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome, that's women, PCOS or PCOD, the situation where you have uh, multiple cysts on the ovaries, uh, they have more androgen issues, they have high androgen, facial hair, hair loss, weight gain, acne. That's because of insulin resistance or too much insulin. Okay, so insulin is the culprit. Cortisol, which is a stress hormone, could also increase insulin, which can then lead to increased androgen. So uh, some people get acne or skin issues when they go through stress because of this relationship. So it's really the insulin, but stress can trigger it as well. So let's talk about like, what do you do? Um, ketosis is an eating plan where you're doing um, very low carbs, like 20 to 50 grams per day, uh, moderate amount of protein, okay, and higher amount of fat. Uh, intermittent fasting, which I highly recommend in combination with ketosis because if you just do ketosis, you can actually, and some people even create acne simply because ketosis is not necessarily omitting snacks between the meals. It's, you know, you can add that it's just like what you eat. But intermittent fasting will greatly lower insulin probably just as much as the ketogenic diet will. So the combination of both is a powerful thing. I'll put some links down below. So um, what we want to do is we want to add more fat to the diet, healthy fats. That's going to help you with essential fatty acids for the skin. Dry skin, for example, is an oil problem in the skin. So after you have these oils in the body and these healthy fats, it will give you essential fatty acids to make your skin really, really good, but also vitamin A. Vitamin A is the key vitamin for nice skin and also um, a lot of the remedies out there for acne, they use vitamin A. Why not get it from the food? But also, if you do intermittent fasting, you're going to improve the gallbladder because you're not going to be eating and grazing all day long. You'll be eating and then not eating, eating and not eating. That gives the gallbladder a chance to recharge and recycle the bile. Bile is a fluid. It's like detergent that comes out from the liver and it comes down into a sac underneath the right rib, rib cage and it helps you break down, absorb the fats. So with intermittent fasting, you'll have more bile to break down these fats to extract more fats from the food, to extract more vitamin A and essential fatty acid for the skin, okay? So gallbladder is very, very important. Um, and again, I think I might have said this, but if you're getting acne or a pimple when you start keto, just add the intermittent fasting and handle it right there. The type of ketogenic diet that I recommend is one that includes a lot of vegetables. So you're getting a lot of the phytonutrients. You're getting a lot of um, key things like vitamins and minerals that are not in some other proteins, but the fibers in the vegetable actually are food for your microbes. So the fiber will help build up your micro, it's called flora, which your skin has a lot of flora. So the more you can improve your digestion in the friendly bacteria, the better for the skin. And lastly, adding these two things together, keto and intermittent fasting, will greatly lower inflammation and in acne, there's all, and even any skin issue, there's always an inflammatory condition okay, going on. So overall, that is the connection between your skin and the keto and intermittent fasting. Put your comments down below. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated. Hi guys, listen, I created an evaluation quiz. It is quite long, it's 104 questions, but it's very thorough. Click the link below and take it and it will help you to find out what's really behind all your symptoms. Hi guys. Hey listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause, the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now 
and we'll send you a report.